Okay, this is the big one. We're going to write some Python code. We get to build on all of the pieces we've put together so far. Our first step, we open up a text edit window. It will be particularly convenient if we resize it to take up half the screen and move it over to the left half of the desktop. Then we can save it with a conveniently recognizable file name making sure to end it in .py and putting it in a location where we know right where it is and can find it when we need it. I'm saving this one as hello.py in a directory with several files in it on the desktop. The next step is to open up a terminal. The text edit window will let us write the code and the terminal will let us run the code. Again, it'll be pretty convenient if we size that terminal to take up about half the desktop and then put it over to the right. Now we can see these side by side. We can navigate down through the desktop, through the directory with several files in it. And here, when we list the directory contents, we can see that our hello.py is there in place. Now we can go back to our text editor for hello.py and type print parentheses quote, hello world, quote parentheses, and save it. This, as we saw before, this is a fine standalone Python program. It tells Python to print what's in those parentheses, which is the quote, hello world quote. It's a string, hello world. It's the characters, capital H-E-L-L-O space W-O-R-L-D. Now we can go over to our terminal and type python3 hello.py and enter. That points our Python interpreter, our Python3 interpreter, to the contents of hello.py. It reads that file and it says, okay, let me follow this recipe. Let me follow these instructions that are sitting in this file. It says print hello world. And so it does at the command line, and we get a hello world. This is writing and running your very first Python program. And from here, we can go back to our original file, modify it. We'll add some exclamation points because that's how excited we are. And we can run it again in the exact same way. And it runs the new instructions, the new recipe, the new Python file, the new Python script. And that's all there is to it at its foundation. There is a mountain of other tools you can use to write and run and debug and manage your Python code, but they're all extras. They're all embellishments. They're all nice to haves. This is really all you need. When I do my Python development, it looks a lot like this. Feel free to dive in and explore and do all of those other things, but this is a good starting point. At this point, you can go and sign up for any Learn to Code Python class, any course online, through a book, in person, and you can start to work your way through it. My hope for you is that at this point, even if you never touched a computer before, before walking through this series of videos, now at this point, you're comfortable writing small Python programs and you're free to dive in now as deep as you want to Python and all of the really fun things you can build with it. Good luck.